Welcome back to the final installment of the taxing difficulty of Lemmings! Now it's time to play level 26, Triple Trouble, and... This is definitely a level that I haven't been looking forward to. This is kind of a map of things to come whenever we'll be on the mayhem difficulty, because... Holy shit, this is a level where a lot of things go wrong. It's one of those levels that look really easy at first, I mean, just look at the top of the level. We've already saved about the third of the lemmings that we needed in order to win, but... Now it's all about the rest of the levels and the rest of the supplies that you have handy. You have 5 minutes in order to finish this level, but your real time limit is for how long lemmings are gonna pour out of the top entrance, because you need them in order to dig the tunnel that will lead to the exit at the right and the left. Our right ramp has been successfully done, but the left ramp is still having some work to do because, yeah, there is still a hole here that means that our lemmings are just gonna fall in the pit. But our right ramp, however, is completely done, so it's time to dig the tunnel that will lead all of our lemmings to their uh, successful rescue. And once it's done, we can start building out in order to get all of those lemmings out. But we're not done yet, because we have to also, well, finish building our left ramp, and now it's time to also mine another tunnel that leads toward the left entrance, and this is where we need yet another builder. It's like, whenever you do this level, the way it's meant, it is meant to be done, you have just enough supplies to do it, and whenever you try to build out of the little holding cells, it's also a complete crapshoot if you use any version that does not have the directional skill, so once again, it's completely random on whether you succeed or not, and yeah, you just have enough builder in order to do that. If your right ramp does not come off properly, well, you failed the level! So even though it looks like your skills are pretty generous for this level, I mean, 10 of each seems like it's pretty generous, but yeah, it's really easy to fuck up. This whole level is really easy to fuck up. At least the next level that we get is, is a pretty cool one. We are gonna call... The Bomb Squad! So yeah, it's one of those levels where the exit is right above the entrance, but instead of having to build around everything in order to get on top of here, you can clearly tell that it's not possible. So the way forward in this level is actually, well, all the way up there. Harm with nothing but builders, blockers and bombers, it's time to dig a way up, and we're going to do this by building ramps, setting up blockers, and then make them explode in order to dig the way up, slowly but surely. At first, it's gonna look as if we're not doing very good progress, because... Yeah, the first bomber that we set does very piddly damage to the roof, but things are gonna change. Also, why am I starting the ramp by making it go toward the left instead of the right? Well, this way I make sure that I'm gonna work into the safe area that I have here. As long as I keep all of my lemmings between the two blockers, there's not gonna be any possible casualties. Even though it's honestly not a big problem because, well, you have a hundred lemmings and you only have to rescue 60, so the level is pretty lenient in that aspect, but let's go and try to save as many lemmings as we can, just because we can. But yeah, the last two bombers, we definitely did a whole lot of progress. And your ramp is gonna get higher and higher the more that you carry on with the level. So, yeah, it seems as if you're, it's gonna take a long time to get this solution working, but it's honestly not that bad. We just need one or two more builders and bombers, and then we'll be able to get to the roof. You could also force your lemming to go even higher up onto the ceiling by using even more builders, but honestly it's not that necessary and you need to keep a few builders and blockers in order to steer your lemming toward the right direction. If your lemmings end up uh, going up into the wrong direction or something whenever you finally reach the top level. Right here for instance, my lemmings are probably gonna end up going toward the left. Ah, okay, or not, the ledge is just too high in order for them to go up, or maybe they're just being stuck on the ceiling as they try to jump up, so... 
Yep, here we go, we made it to the top layer of Dolovol, and the solution has been successfully accomplished. So yeah, despite starting our bridge by going toward the left, we still ended up going in the right direction nonetheless, so that was a pretty good job in every possible way. Yep, we totally stormed this level. I think the designers intended you to lose way more lemmings than this, but yeah, it's pretty easy to save as many as you can. Oh boy, I hope that you don't have a weak heart because yeah, this level is gonna see a whole lot of lemming casualties. The entrance is way too high off the ground so that your lemmings will survive, and you only have one floater, so it's time for him to figure a way to save everyone before too many people die. In fact, let's count the casualties. And yeah, we better get ready to see this counter rise a whole bunch because we're still nowhere close in saving anyone. Yeah, this is a really harsh level indeed. And this level is harsher on the PC because, well, you know, since there's 80 lemmings, that means that there's also going to be a lesser lemming margin for the percentage that needs to be reached in order to finish a level because remember that this game is all about percentages and by having the same percentage, it means that I think instead of allowing 30 lemmings to die or something, you can allow like think 24 or something, it's definitely much uh, less lenient in that regard. So after using that builder in order to steer our climber away, now it's time to finally build a ramp that will save our lemmings. Oh we say- Uh no never mind, we still have some work to do, hang on tight, uh, we're, I swear we're about to be done! <laughs> no! Ah oh my god! The casualties, the horror, the horror! And now it's time to steer our climber yet again because now he needs to get everybody out of the jam that they're in because we cannot bash right now in order to get the lemmings to the next destination because our tunnel is gonna be too low and they're gonna fall into the giant concrete steel block which is all the way down. They won't even get the opportunity to die uh, by falling in the water. Even though I don't think I'd like to bait into this water considering how cold it seems to be. But yeah, we ended up losing 22 lemmings in total, so I hope you enjoyed the carnage. But now finally her lemmings are going somewhere. Now, as much as we'd want to save our climber, well, unfortunately we can't because we have one builder left and we need to use it in order to get across the final part of the level, which is the little trap at the end of the level. So it's time to send a blocker in Oh yeah, that's right, that's my climber who just died. Also, you're not supposed to send two lemmings up here, but I kinda wanted to show you what this trap does. More so considering that this is the only level in the entire game where it appears. Yep, it's a Ghostbusters trap. This lemming is just going to be trapped in the world of whatever the hell it is. Now, if we were playing the PC version, well, we would have failed the level because we would have been one lemming short. So, thank goodness for the Amiga and the fact that it has a hundred lemmings per level instead of 80, because I could demonstrate everything that I wanted without having to restart the entire level from scratch. And hey, instead of failing the level, we're even being told, hey, this level was no trouble to you. Good. So yeah, the last three levels have been pretty grueling, but... I gotta say, this is pretty much the respite level of the end stretch of taxing. Yep, it's a ladder will be handy again, but... Yeah, with only five builders, there's not gonna be a ladder happening this time. The main difficulties here are the fact that your lemmings are pouring out of the gate really, really fast. And yeah, the fact that you don't have uh, 50 builders anymore. Even though this level will still have been easy with 20 builders to begin with. But yeah, since we only have 5 builders this time around, you probably have guessed where we're going with this one solution. Instead of building all the way up, we're going to climb all the way up and we're going to dig the way in order to create a big tunnel instead of having a big ladder. 
So honestly, this late in the game, the solution kind of comes as a no-brainer because we've done this kind of solution many times in the past, and here we're just doing it on a much bigger length of uh, land right here. With that said, this level was way harder in the Genesis version because the big stretch of land that you have at the end of the level is not all that big, so you can't do the strategy here. Instead, you have to do a giant builder that leads all the way to the little stretch of land here, and you have to make your digger or miner go all the way to the, to the ramp that you just built. So it's definitely much trickier this way. But in its original form, this level is actually pretty easy, so it's time to just free up everybody by finishing building the tunnel that we just made. And all in all, with only two casualties. I doubt that it will be possible to save everyone on this level, maybe it's possible if you really try hard enough, but I'm not really about trying really hard whenever it comes to this game. Because later on we're already gonna have to do that. So, alright, only one level left, what could it be? Ah, oh, fuck you game, this again? Yep, this again, this time however we have 60 lemmings to take care of, so time to increase the release rate and just do whatever. I don't care, blah 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 blah. It was not fun the first two times, and I doubt it's gonna be any more fun whenever there's 60 lemmings. Hell, the soundtrack is ominous enough in order to tell you, Haha, welcome to where you're gonna waste your next three minutes, mortal. So yeah, you could do 40 lemmings in three minutes without touching the release rate, but now you have to touch the release rate, otherwise you're not gonna make it. But other than that, yeah, it's exactly the same thing. Just dig, 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 blah, 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 blah. So, I guess instead of talking about anything, I'm just going to talk about... Well, apparently according to a game fact, there was a version of Lemming that was put out by the Slash Corporation or something. It was a CD release that included both Lemmings and Oh No More Lemmings, its standalone expansion pack. And in this version, for some unknown reason, Lemmings were allowed to fall a little bit higher without splatting themselves to the ground. And this was one of the levels where everything will change, because you will no longer need to do any of this because the lemmings could just survive the drop on their own without any kind of uh, digging required. So you just increase the release rate to 99 and the level will play itself. But yeah, this chore of a level is over, and we're done with the taxing difficulty! So in order to celebrate, we're just going to load up the SNES cutscene in order to see what funny hijinks the lemming have gotten themselves into. Man, I kind of wish that there were slides in lemmings now, because that actually would have been pretty nice. Instead, we had to settle with... Uh, the snow levels of the Lemmings 2 sequel, where your Lemmings will just drift on ice and they will just be stuck here forever, which was definitely not very fun. So yeah, taxing is done, and now all that stands between us and the end of the game is the Mayhem difficulty. Now, Mayhem difficulty is just about the same as taxing, but even more rootless for the most part, because a lot of these solutions will require us to not only have to decipher some weird unknown solution, but it's also going to be in such a way that you're gonna have to pull it off perfectly, because otherwise you're just gonna fail. So, yeah, while there's gonna be some fun levels in Mayhem, a bunch of the levels in there are just going to be a complete drag because you just have to pull off one very precise solution and hope that everything will work out fine. So, yeah, I'm not looking forward to some of these levels, but that's where we're headed, folks. So, coming up next, the Mayhem Difficulty.